Hi guys, Lone Gaming UK, back for some more Transport Fever, part 12. So in the last episode you saw me upgrade um, a cow train, some of the goods, and we also did a wonderful train, the smoke in the distance there, of a fuel train. Now this is a crude oil train. Um, it's already over age, so it's finance, it's starting to cost us more money, affecting its profitability. It's pretty slow because this train, I'm not sure what its top speed is, but it's about 30 miles an hour or so, maybe 20 over the bridge. And although it's not carrying anything right now on its way back, we do have an absolute treasure show. Tre tre can't say the word. Treasure. Tre treasure? Trove. There we go. Get it in the end. Come on. Come on, lone gamer. Get your teeth in. So we've got 343. I think that's telling me upgrade your train, sunshine. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, so here it comes. We'll, uh, we'll send it into the station. We need to do a a reverse thing because again I've not got these depots really set up to do both ways of traffic. A tip for the future when you set them up think about doing uh, both directions so you don't have to move them or, or build too many extra depots. So what we're going to do is change the, the uh, so I don't know what have I got I've got that puny I've got, I've got this thing I think on haven't I? Uh, I've got this one, 28 miles an hour, 122 horsepower, 20 kilotons, so we've spent a lot of cash, um, but we're going to pop a hugely better train on than this. Let's just get him into the station just a little bit quicker. past the junction right, send them to the depot pause it in the depot so we limit the damage to the line one two three four five six seven eight we probably need 16 or so of these but again I'm still waiting for these to be upgraded so nothing new out yet now I have markers. Uh, some of these good routes I did have not got enough the second type going to them, so just give me warnings. Fine, we'll get back to that. So what I'm trying to do in some of these videos, do uh, a few things differently each video just to keep some of the variety going. So sometimes it'll be trams, sometimes it'll be trains. Um, you know, we're only what maybe 13 years away from aviation. Um, so we're going to try and mix it up a little bit. I think if you're playing this um, just purely for yourself, you would concentrate a little bit more on maximizing each route um, to perfection. But I don't want to spend too many sort of uh, episodes or hours on the same line in succession so that hopefully the videos um, have a little bit of variety each time, flipping between uh, track and road aviation etc so um, but let me know what you think of the videos you can always leave comments in the comment section we've paused the game we are going to get rid of USAR and we're going to buy a train I might go you like that train for the three million yeah let's do it we need that we got I'm gonna go go for the best thing Let's put on a whole stack of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't see them. Not now. Pull it. Box bigger. Can I? 
own vehicle. Uh, I don't know how many I put on there. Anyway, I think that's 16. Roll this out. We can we can count them as it goes by. Now hopefully we can uh, chew into this 350 food all sitting around. It'll be much faster train. Uh, I will have this all. It's not set a colour, but we're gonna is it jet black? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now, we could probably get 16 with higher capacity once we get a new wagon option. That's going to be 80 again. That's the same as the fuel, um, but that's fine. We'll, we'll sort of upgrade these train and we'll burn through loads of cash. Because these locomotives are dead expensive. There we go, full train. Still leaving 218 behind but we're shifting 80 a time now so that will that will start to uh, go into that quite nicely. So that's that job done. Now I'm not going to be able to do too much straight away because we're, we're out of funds. Shall I give us a sexy name? Oily... Oily Mover. <laughs> a beautiful sight. Steam. Now some of these are existing, so I don't know if they count them as old. It still says the train's 36 years old. I don't know what the game does with that, because it's a new locomotive, so... It might start doing me better to uh, start... It's the whole thing's 36, even though I replaced the locomotive and half the... But if that, that's going to charge me, I might, might be best in future. Note to self, just to replace the whole train. So we'll watch this guy pull in and drop off his oil, crude oil, and then I think what we'll do is we'll continue to look at uh, adding um, a corn route to our goods, if we can afford to do so. See the kind of money 80 is when it drops off, um, obviously the costs go right up, but that's a one, one off, one year thing less fuel kicking around here now. What we save? See? 800k in one go. Look at that. Wonderful. That's more than doubled the profit. And it's doing it so much quicker. And um, we've got a new train out. BW440-3300. A look at that beast. Uh, there's maybe a new passenger option. 55 miles an hour. How does it compare? Oh, sorry. Hang on. Uh, anyway. There was a. We had that already. Train. We've got. What? What? Right. I thought we were running the GW440 anyway. Good. That's what we've got uh, on here, isn't it? So these are making money. They're still not quite full to capacity, so we're, we're kind with this, uh, kind of okay with this route. Train now. 
weird. Seemed to pop up as a new train, but we already had it. Not sure about that, anyway. So, that should really help our income, and we're already up to 3.2. I mean, we'll start seeing, obviously we spent stupid amounts of cash. 1906 and 07. Nearly six million, eight and a half million, but we'll probably go some of 1908 without spending money. We can start making three to four million a year, that'd be nice. Okay, what's this one doing? How's he doing? About 32 food, so a bit short on that. But, uh, now this train will probably start supplying better numbers of cows. There's 15 or 32, he says, as it's only carrying half. Because it, it's faster and... Um, and it doesn't have to stop, it's going point to point. But I think that will build as the demand goes it should start producing more. Let's have a look. I might just if we can get four or five million, I'll probably have enough. So what I'm thinking of doing now then is let's do a line. I'll leave the game running so that we can get some cash. I want to do a new line and I'm going to call this uh, one 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 corny what's what do they call this stuff oh, what am i doing good thing to do that i know what you call this stuff station mm. silly boy rain okay we'll call it rain corn grain same thing hey So let's call it green one. Okay, now this is going to go from here. We are going to stop off at uh, here. Don't need to stop there. And yeah. Check. One wants to use the right hand track, the other one's using the left. Yep. Cows are on the left, grain on the right. Okay, so that uses the right, it comes up here. Just get rid of that for a sec. Um, I mean, this needs oil as well. To these, but we'll get that. Uh, we can get that going. We can maybe uh, run some oil down here from our other oil supply. It's going to drop off some grain there that needs it. This doesn't need grain, but this will help us build uh, more food to beef this up if we. So let's just have a look at the grain route. So it comes into here, that's fine. Now we're going to be competing for our train lines here. So what I'm going to do is just, I need to probably don't need these um, probably need that there. But I'll put a signal kind of here, so if the platform's full it will wait and I'll need to do the same. We'll probably make it a three track and, and do something with it, but just to stop the game having a moment. So that's that's fine, but you see this train's not getting enough because it's only getting the cows with the 
Getting the food should get that up to maximum, I would have thought. So let's put a train on it. Not a ring, but a train. Okay, so... Uh, it's not going to produce anything yet. We're not really, because we haven't been running that surface. So... Um, okay, so we want a train. Uh, something I can afford. Now let's have a look at the wagons first. I tend to like... So we want to put... Um, Rain. I think it's going to be the same things, isn't it? These open, open wagons. Again, they're old. And what speed do they go? Fifty. So we need a locomotive to go fifty or over, really. Yeah, that's good. Seven. We could put these on. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven feels a bit slow. Wagons go fifty. Did I say? I think that train's going to be too expensive. So we Huge difference between 2.942. Did I put on this one? It's this one. Oh, we use the same train. I think that will look nice for the moment, so we'll, we'll buy that. And um, we need some wagons for grain. This is going to be this. And we're going to put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Set that on the grain one. Get over there. Did you come out? Could make him a garish uh, grain colour. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, don't go that way. Guess we could do. Got to hit both ends anyway, so it might as well. Do I want it that colour? That's the question. We could do. Helps me remember what the trains are doing. Any abuse about the colours of trains? Uh, please don't leave a comment. <laughs> so this will take um, a little while to hit all the stops and then start building up the full capacity, but that should help complement the other lines. Even with the vast sums of cash that we're spending. Decent speed to it, so the whole thing should be going 50 really. Train goes 62 and carriage is 53, yeah, so it should hit out at 50. Just baby pull up, 40, 41. Forty-seven, forty-eight. To stay, yeah. There we go. Tops out at fifty. It's a good improvement on what we had before. When we get the modern trains, we are going to have to upgrade our track to uh, over seventy-five, so we can uh, get all the latest things. So we'll think about supplying these other factories with resources. Uh, the name is uh, Brain Fever.
Green tea, tea that, tea that. So we'll see what happens with the conflict when we get to the station, see if they're with time and right. It looks like the food one's off, so... I mean, that's making a short journey, so we'll have to see. Now, this one's coming back on the other track, so that's fine. That one's off to London, so for this journey, we're going to be able to go straight in, hit the station, come back out that one. Start to create the route when it hits the other end. We should be tooting horns at each other. Passing shot. That train I've got out as well. I'm not sure that's the. Let's go have a look at that in a minute. There we go. That's heading back. KTSB 380. That's the one we've got. Game doing. No, nope, maybe it isn't a K28. Okay, 380. Gee. That's 2.94, 16, 49, 43 miles an hour. But we put that oil fuel on, wasn't it? So this one, same speed. Just got more pulling power, expensive to run. So just an improvement on the uh, 280 to the 380. Okay. But what I want is, I mean, look, this is ridiculous. We're, we're 1909, um, and if you look at, um, let's look at our uh, vehicles. If you go to freight, we're still horse and cart, for love of God. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, my God. We've got a, when did that come out? 1890. Maybe it did, but well, I mean, it's not a lot of choice there, is it? Passenger. Now, while we were off a video, um, we did get this uh, post bus come out, so I've got that running in one or two locations. Uh, nothing too exciting, but it's not horse and cart, so yeah. Um, freight. So, um, well, let's have a look at that then. Um, We need to replace these. Let's have a look at uh, so this video and maybe even the one after it will still be improving our lines. Um, let's have a look. So if we change that to uh, I'll just look at freight, can we? Trains, so vehicles. So. The coal line. That's one of those long ones. Let's um London oil supply route. Where the heck is that? Oh that's this Okay, give me to city. Okay, let's um, get you sorted. Placement. How old are the vehicles? 14 years. Okay, so they're not far off due replacement. Freight. Now, what are they? That's carrying 5 at 12 miles an hour, 6 at 16. Okay, not amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go with that as the replacement. We're going to replace now, which means they'll just do it as they reach the uh, their next stop. 
me have a look. That's a uh, vehicles. When he hits the next stop, he'll, uh, he'll change. I might have picked a bad one to do here. Oh look, I think he's going to go pick up fuel and then it'll change. So we need to probably go through some of our other horse and carts, get rid of these. But I can't help feel there's going to be another... Yeah, so look, that's already, already upgraded. A little bit faster, carries one more, it'll do. I can feel the 1980s coming on already. What a wonderful sight. Our vehicles. I just can't wait until we get Walkmans and uh, Leggings. That's when he stops, picks up, he should change vehicle. Here we go. Excellent. The thing of beauty. Doesn't look particularly safe if you had a head-on crash. I think you would uh, be worse for wear. Oh, look, look, there's a train in the background. Bringing in the food. What's it doing? 13. Wonderful. So let's, uh, let's stay on this theme of uh, sorting out our, our trucks. Okay, so they're going to be done. Or two. Some of these. Ooh. So we just set these up all to replace those. How old are they? Not years. Might not replace them now, might just do them at age. Set up a few other little routes while we were off camera. Um, show you what they are in a minute. So we've got um, we've got some stone being moved around in Oxford. These are sort of dead good routes, really, because I'm bringing in um, one item, but not both. They are making a little bit of money, though, so... These are fairly new, so I'm not going to upgrade them. Automatic. Uh, just going to leave it on automatic, so they'll upgrade, but I need to change those when the, when the vehicles change. That's what it's done. Uh, let's have a look at these. So if you look at... Uh, Got some routes, we've got some buses going on here. Uh, I just did a few little uh, bus routes between some uh, new cities. Oh, it's like a roller coaster. Hello, folks, we're going downhill. Don't mind the bumps, but cool. Yeah, which is a good thing, making us money. We like making money in this game. So, um, let's have a look. So we've got... Uh, money, is it? Money? I've got all... I just can't get these ports to work. I get all these people waiting here. And then they're going back into the city. The city back to here. But nobody's walking. These are connected. Look, that lights up. You know? Uh, that's fine. And I put a bus stop here just in case that was the issue. But nobody at this stop, or this stop, seems to be interested in going to the port whatsoever. I cannot work out why. I've kind of tried everything. I'm kind of thinking of bulldozing the ships and the ports and just starting the game because maybe the game bugged because they were set up after the ports were placed. I'm wondering if that's the issue. 
what's uh, what lines this on? We've lost a ferry pickup, so let's uh, have a look at that age 19. Okay, so I'm going to replace these straight away. With, uh, these. This now. Let's get a bit of money for those. These ones I'm going to do automatically. I think I did these ones in there. It's not set up to change. It's set up to change. Those are fine. This is a stone. I think I did that one there. Set up to change. Uh, stone to winter stone. That's. Uh, that age first, 11 years. Do those automatically as well. Now these ones are going to be pretty... Oh, actually, you're old. So they can have that as their interest to shuttle. Look at this one. That. We've got years to run it. Look at this one. Age nine years, so they can just pass his well in due course. It's wood. Uh, I need to. I'm not really doing it with this, I'll probably just leave those. But we'll start to see if that makes us any more money. Please mistake, shuttle up some. But near those. So that one is a replacement, but they won't be done for a long time. And Cambridge Ferry pick up. Really want to spend money on those. Leave them as automatic. Cambridge Ferry pick up, already done. But yeah, I mean these these ships have been running for those like 23 years and they haven't carried a single passenger. So it's broken. Um, I've checked a few videos, I've made with things offline to try and get these to work. Um, they're just not walking to it, and, and as I say, um, it is connected, it lights up the whole thing, it's coming into the right platform, and even the far platform. Look, if you look over here, this one lights up. There you go, so... So, I'm kind of thinking of binning the route, the ports and the ships, and just plonking them down again, because when I did it the first time, ah, oh, look at this. This is what we wanted. Bank wagons, open wagons, and a, a band's wagon. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, ship's looking a bit old and tired and ropey. I'm not surprised because it just goes back and forward with no passengers. Um, so I know they're connected. I've, I've done the routes. Um, I've put in bus stops. Um, people are waiting in the town. Things are happening. We've got people coming to the cities. Done the same at the other end. Um, you know, we've, I've even connected Harlow up to Cambridge, so they're getting uh, the buses. Uh, well, these things until until they upgrade the buses. Um, but I got the same thing, you know, this this again, click on it, terminal, it's all lit up, it's capturing the city, the, the, you know, we're getting people waiting here, uh, they all want to go home, because they've just been waiting here all day, and I can't get any of them to use the ship, so the only thing I can think of is that, because I sort of built them in the wrong order, that Ports somehow still think they haven't got a supply of people, so 
They're losing me not tons of money, but they are losing me money. Oh, if we go to ships, you see, just losing this. I'm probably going to bin this start again and see if I can work out why, but I, I've tried a few different things. I can't seem to get this uh, working at all. Um, certainly not going to spend. Let's have a look how much that ship was. We've got, the, uh, we've got, we've got this thing, isn't it? Mauritania. Uh, seven and a half million. There we go. 541 passengers. Beautiful. How about steaming up the river? Uh, so, yeah. Now. It is shipping oil from here. Vehicle. I should upgrade those. I have got the replacement not set correctly, so that will do that. But we're not doing anything with it. It's it's going all the way down to here, and uh, just getting one of the two. So I, I need to. In another video, we'll look at these goods and and start getting the other half of the goods so that we can actually produce something from these sites. Um, let's have a look at the money situation. So, yeah, railroad spent that. Okay. Running costs were climbing. Come down a bit now. The 2.3 2 in 1909. Should make a bit more money. Have a look. So the boats are losing me money. Uh, I'm just going to kill those. Let me do those now in this. Because it's just losing me money. So, Cambridge Line. Let's get rid of that. Removal stations, yes. And bulldoze that. Ship's got nowhere to go. Probably send them back to be sold. Because they're getting old anyway, just going up and down the river doing nothing. Uh, so we'll come back to this. We'll we'll try again. I'll leave that there. You don't get a lot of options on ships. I've got a few now extra ones on the mods pack, so we'll do that, but still that's our best ship. But I'll use new ones if we use them again. Frontenac. Now that ship I was sending out to the ship. Over if I said go back and be sold, we'll just go back. So so we'll get those sold but to be honest I'm just losing a, some nearly 200,000 every year um, and uh, I'll save that loss and we'll, we'll come back to that in another video so we've done some improvements um, I'll have to think about what we're going to do next Let's have a look if that's built up a bit more. 10 of 32, that's still struggling. Let's have a look, are we delivering grain yet? Grain train. Obviously not on its way back. Let's 
I mean, I could kill. I mean, I'm delivering grain here as well. Um, that's probably not serving me much benefit. It does look like a load of grain is waiting though, so. I guess it's dropping half off here, you see, but we're not doing it with it, so. We could kill. I'll do that. I'm going to kill that station for the moment, so I'll just go direct. I'm not because we're not really doing it. We're not making plastics yet until we can get oil there, and then we'll, we can pop it back in when we can, when we can get oil there. We can pop our grain off there as well. So it's going to be a full load. But look at it. And we'll just take that to the other place. Green fever beaver is away. Okay, so I think um, that'll probably do for today's video. And uh, we'll come back. Uh, where's that green train gone? So we'll come back with some more videos where we'll uh, we'll look at doing. I mean, we're I think ten years away from aviation. I'm not quite sure what we'll do, but I'll try and link up. I'm probably going to do passengers. I'll, I'll I'll do some flights between cities in the very north and the south. I'll do some aviation when we get some options if I can afford to do that. We'll build up a bit of a, a war chest as far as investment money goes. Um, we certainly need to uh, sort out um, more supplies to uh, goods factories because a lot of them are only getting one half of what they need so um, we'll fix that in the future and I'll leave you with the lovely view of a yellow not a yellow submarine but a yellow grain train motoring through the countryside that is Lone Gamer's European map we're playing on anyway still loving this game Train Fever I hope you enjoyed these videos if you do please mash the like button if you want to make a comment leave one in the comment section if you want to know when videos are out then subscribe to my channel and you'll probably get notifications of my stuff and regularly check my channel um, so I hope you do that and I'll see you in the next video Otherwise, guys, thanks very much for joining me. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.